Hello, and welcome. Today I will be showcasing my idea on how I will be reworking the current armor system. I am simply going to jump straight into it as I don't want to delay the video any further. Before I talk about my reworking ideas, I have four categories that I will be sharing my ideas on, or sections, whatever you want to call it. The first section is a new mechanic that I'm bringing to the table named the Armor Barrier Mechanic. Second is adding or changing the armor statistics that will work alongside the armor barrier itself. Thirdly is providing armor passive skills that will change the heists in a specific way. Meaning that every single armor will have their own little personal stats that will change the heisters entirely. And lastly that will be changing a few skills that will, occur, that will sort of work alongside the new armor barrier mechanic. Before I talk about the armor barrier mechanic, the first thing I will say is that the armor chunks that the game currently has will remain unchanged entirely, as I, I think at the moment is completely okay where it is. The first ever mechanic idea I had in mind is nicknamed the armor barrier. The armor barrier, to describe it in short, is the main source of damage resistance you gain from your armor itself. Here's an example. If you have 1 or 100% of armor barrier, then any damage you would take, the armor barrier will be absorbing the damage entirely. To simply demonstrate on how it would work, is example being, the heavy ballistic leaning grants you a 50% damage reduction, but an armor barrier of 400. And if you take 50 damage, 25 damage goes to the armor barrier itself, and 25 damage goes to the armor. The heavier armor you wear, the more resistance you get, but the more of the armor barrier will be in lower numbers. Wider armors will have much more armor barrier, but with less resistance. Example being, the standard leaning armor will only provide a damage resistance of 20%, with an armor barrier of 1250. The armor barrier will also grant the ability to recharge a portion of your armor back, but only to the missing armor chunks, aka dark, dark blue line, that you can refill with an armor repair kit. Depending on the armor you are wearing, if you're wearing the heaviest armor, you will regain 10% of the missing armor chunk, but at a rate of 8 seconds. With the lightest armor, regaining 3% of the remaining missing armor chunk, but at a rate of 5 seconds. However, you must not take any sort of damage or otherwise you will not be able to regain some of the armor back. The new adaptive armor that is coming to the game will remain unchanged, as is once shown in the devlog. But what exactly happens when you lose the armor barrier? Losing your armor barrier makes it where you lose the damage resistance provided by the armor barrier itself, meaning if you take 50 damage, then you will take the full 50 damage, and you will lose the ability to regain portion of your armor chunk passively. Regardless of what type of armor you are wearing, the armor barrier will always recharge itself at a 10 armor barrier for 10 seconds, only if you don't take damage. So as long as you're staying out of combat, the armor barrier will be able to passively recharge itself as long as you don't take any sort of damage. However, if the armor barrier is completely broken, then it won't be able to recharge regardless of how many times you're staying out of battle. The armor barrier can only be refilled with either an armor bag or an armor repair kit. Using one of them will completely refill, refill the armor barrier to 100%. Now let's get over how much damage resistance each armor gives and how much armor barrier they contain and how much armor chunks they are able to recharge. Keep in mind these are numbers that I have in mind, so these numbers could sort of be either overpowered or underpowered. Every single armor, instead of providing a damage resistance of 25% like in the current build, they all have their own damage resistances. The standard leaning armor will provide a damage resistance of 20% with a total armor barrier of 1000. It regenerates 2% of the missing armor chunk at a rate of 2.5 seconds. The light ballistic leaning armor will provide a 25% damage resistance with a total armor barrier of 825. It regenerates 4% missing armor chunks at a rate of 3.5 seconds. The medium ballistic leaning armor will provide a damage resistance of 30% with a total armor barrier of 750. It regenerates 6.5% missing armor chunk every 5 seconds. The heavy ballistic leaning armor will provide either a 40 to 50% damage resistance with a total armor barrier of 450 or 500. It regenerates 10% of the missing armor chunk per 8.5 seconds. Before I get into the other list, let me say this. The grit will only provide damage resistance towards the armor chunk itself. It will not reduce the amount of damage the armor barrier itself will be taking, so keep that one in mind. 
Thirdly on the list is to provide a passive stat that would change the heists entirely. Every single armor would provide a different type of positive effects and negative effects, as the only difference between the heavy armor and the light armor in the current build is simply reducing the movement speed or increasing the movement speed. So I've decided to provide a few stats that would change the character entirely. Wearing the standard leaning armor provides a faster vaulting speed and sliding speed distance, but the stuns last slightly longer. Wearing the light ballistic leaning armor provides a faster weapon handling, the screen shaking effect after being stunned lasts longer. Meaning whenever you get stunned by a shield and normally when your camera like shakes up and down, that effect lasts slightly longer. Wearing the medium ballistic leaning provides a slight stability and recoil improvement, meaning they are much more easier to control, however your vaulting and sliding speed is slightly reduced. Wearing the heavy ballistic leaning provides a both weapon handling boost and weapon stability and reduces the stun duration and screen, effect, uh, screen shaking effect by slightly. Your vaulting speed is reduced and your drawing speed is also reduced. Finally, let's get talk about the skills that will be changed. Tank Ace will have an entirely new feature. Whenever your armor barrier reaches approximately 30%, Gain Grit or Refresh Grit, but instead of gaining 10% damage reduction, you get 25% damage reduction, but at the duration of Grit runs out 25% much more quicker, and your movement speed is reduced by 10%. This allows you to become much more harder to kill and making you play a bit more aggressively before your armor completely drains out, but at the cost of reducing your movement speed entirely and your Grit running out much more quicker. Hardy Whenever your armor barrier breaks entirely, you gain damage immunity for 3 seconds. This allows you to either run away to recharge your armor barrier or armor chunks, or finish your groups of enemies without having to worry about losing a armor chunk entirely. Played up. As long as you have grit, each time you pick up a 7 dropped ammo, you will refill 1% of your missing armor chunk. That is practically all I have to offer so far. Let me know down in the comments on how you think of my armor reworking idea. I highly doubt that Starbreeze would actually genuinely look into this, it's because it just practically adds another whole new bar that you have to take care of, but I feel like this would sort of change the playstyle entirely because it sort of emphasizes on the players to be more comfortable with the current armor they're wearing, without having to constantly wear heavy armor or having to constantly rely on the armor bags. This reworking just sort of emphasizes on players on being more comfortable and be more aggressive or be more defensively and have to rely on other equipments that they have on their arsenal. That is all I have to offer so far, gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like and let me know in the comments on your thoughts of this. Is there anything you would change? Is there something that you would not change? Let me know. If you excuse me, I'm going to go commit some tax frauds. So without further ado, adios.